All right, so first I'm using an Aveeno SPF that I use every day after I wash my face. This is to make sure that all my skin is completely protected from the sun so that any of my pores aren't exposed to any extra UV rays, which can make them larger. And now I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Primer. This has been a great primer for my large pores, which is a result of oily skin. And I use a pretty small pea size amount to cover my entire face, and I've been absolutely loving it. Next, I'm using my CoverGirl Stay Fabulous Outlast 3-in-1 Foundation in 825 Buff Beige. This is a good drugstore foundation that covers up all of your imperfections with moderate coverage as well as really blurs out your pores again. The nice thing is that it has a good color match and I really like using mine with my Beauty Blender. I find that this is the best way to apply my foundation that I've ever tried. After using multiple different brushes, my fingers, I finally realized that the Beauty Blender is my absolute favorite tool when it comes to applying foundation. Next, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm using this around my nose where I get a lot of red veins over any blemishes and down the bridge of my nose just to highlight a little bit. On any casual day, I don't really like to do a lot of highlighting because there's really no point, especially on a day where I'm going to be sitting around studying or even taking a final. To be honest, if I have an 8 a.m. final, I'm not even going to do my makeup. But I'm going to use my Beauty Blender again to blend all of this out, especially that precision tip. And now I'm also going to be concealing under my eyes since I do get pretty dark circles under my eyes. No bad just dark circles and I'm going to be using the precision tip again of the beauty blender to blend out all of this concealer I find that this concealer has a really great texture it does crease a bit but I've never had a concealer that doesn't crease so it's not that big of a breaking point for me but I really do love this concealer Next, I'm going to be using my Sephora Sol de Rio Bronzer. I'm not doing any kind of contouring today since I'm just going to be studying or taking a final. So what I'm going to do is just use this e.l.f. blush brush to blend it out on my cheeks as well as across my temples. I'll put a little bit in the hollow of my cheeks to add a little bit of definition. And I'm also going to use this across my forehead as well as under my chin in just a moment. And next, I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer in the Daydream, having a little bit of difficulty opening it, but it's a nice pink blush that also has a little bit of highlight to it, so it kind of serves all of your purposes in one without having to add any extra product. So I'm going to use this across my cheeks, especially above the bone a little bit. I'm going to use it down my nose just to highlight a little bit, and as well as over my cupid's bow to add a little bit of definition since I do have pretty small lips. Next, I'll be using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is a really good setting powder. It's really finely milled, but what I've really been liking lately is the Benefit Professional Powder. I'll probably be using that in a future video since it's been my favorite, but the Mineral Veil does the trick. Next, I'm going to be combing up my eyebrows with this little clean mascara wand and moving on to eyeshadow with this Clinique Trio. I'll be using the lightest shade in it first, which is kind of like a champagne, with a flat shader brush from Bare Minerals. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid as well as across my crease and my brow bone. It's just a good all over shade to add a little bit of shimmer to your eyes so they don't look so veiny or uh, so translucent. Then I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush and I'm going to add a little bit of the middle color which is a pinky neutral and I'm going to add that to my brow bone, or sorry, to my crease just to kind of emphasize that area. Next I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil um, from the Naked Basic set and this is called Crave. I'm going to be using this to tight line and I'm going to go back in with that flat shader brush to blend out any black that got under my eyes because that day I was having a really hard time tight lining and also back in with my beauty blender with any excess concealer to cover up any sponges that may have occurred. And I'm going to repeat this process on my other eye as well.
I'm going to go in with an Almay eye makeup removing wipe just to get any excess from underneath my eyes away. And then with my Rimmel Scandalized Nude Eyeliner, I'm going to do my waterline just to kind of make my eyes open up a bit more and look a bit brighter. I have pretty small eyes, so I try to give them a lot more emphasis than usual. And again, I'm going to go in with that eye makeup remover wipe just to remove any that may have gotten on my bottom lashes or underneath my waterline that may be unwanted. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my Revlon eyelash curler. I really like this one for a drugstore quality eyelash curler. I'm going to pump it, pump it a few times at the root of my eyelashes. I never hold it for too long and actually crimp them, so pump it a few times and then move out to the edges and pump it a few more times to give a nice subtle curl to your eyelashes. It looks a lot more natural. Now with my Clinique High Impact Mascara in black, I'm going to be applying mascara to both of my eyes on the top and bottom lashes. And I'm going to be using just the usual shake at the bottom and pull out to the top method for applying your mascara. I really like this mascara because it doesn't really plump up. It also makes them look really natural and separated and I haven't had any problems with it. I will go back in with a clean mascara wand however just to clean up any clumps that may have occurred. Now I'm going to search around for my favorite lip balm, which I tend to always lose, and that's the Smith's Rosebud Salve. On a day like this, I'm not going to use any type of lip product because I'm just going to be probably drinking iced tea anyways. And that's it.